Hello, grade 9. Welcome to our first lesson. We're looking at um, algebraic expressions. This is from chapter 9, sorry, chapter 8 in your books. And we will start with multiplication of algebraic expressions. It will be good for you to go back and revise some algebra that you did in grade 8. All right. So here's one example that I need us to look at. Um, we are multiplying a monomial expression by a polynomial expression. In this example, uh, please take note, 3x is a monomial expression, and this is because it is just an expression with one term. So it's called a monomial. Mono means one. Um, and 2a plus 3b minus 2 has more than one term. So this can be monomial. This is actually a three-term expression. You can call it a trinomial. So how do we multiply 3x by 2a plus 3b minus 2? Right, we use a method called distribution, which means we take 3x and multiply it by everything that is inside the bracket. That is called distribution. So 3x multiplied by 2a will give you 6ax. 3x multiplied by 3b will give you 9bx. And 3x multiplied by negative 2 will give you negative 6x. And that's it. Um, you can't simplify that answer any further. All those three terms are actually unlike terms. So you leave your answer like that. Okay? Here's another example. Uh, we are multiplying 3x, which is a monomial, by 2x minus 5, which is a binomial. Now, this is binomial because... Uh, this has two terms, so by means two. And negative four should be multiplied by a trinomial. So we use the same method distribution, exactly the same way we did in the previous example. So distribute the 3x into the bracket. So 3x is multiplied by 2x, you get, you get 6x squared. And 3x is multiplied by negative 5, that will give you minus 15x. Then distribute the minus 4. Minus 4 is multiplied by x squared to give us minus 4x squared. And minus 4 is multiplied by minus 4x to give us a plus 16x. Negative 4 multiplied by positive 1 will give you a negative 4. In this example, we have like terms now. Uh, if you compare 6x squared to negative 4x squared, you will notice the exponents are the same. They're using the variable x and the exponents are 2. I mean, are both equal to 2. Mm -hmm. So these are like terms. So like terms can be simplified. So we are going to just group the like terms, which means we are writing our like terms close to each other or next to each other. So minus 15x and plus 16x are also like terms. So we group them together, write them close to each other so that we can simplify easy. Um, so 6x squared minus 4x squared will then give you 2x squared. Minus 15x plus 16x will give you positive x. And your negative 4 is on its own, so it stays there. Okay? Let's go on and look at Example 3, in this case, we have a binomial expression, 2x minus 5, and another binomial expression, 3x minus 4, and we're going to multiply this. And this is how we do it. The easy way is to think like this. Uh, take your first term in the first expression. In other words, take 2x. And make sure that you multiply it by every term in the second expression. So 2x should be multiplied by 3x. And 2x must also be multiplied by negative 4. I suggest for now you draw those, those curves. It will help you to remember what I'm doing. So 2x is multiplied by 5, sorry, by 3x, and that gives us 6x squared. And 2x is multiplied by negative 4, that will give you a minus 8x. Right, And then we go back to the first expression. Now we take the minus 5. Now the minus 5 should be multiplied by everything in there as well. So minus 5 should be multiplied by 3x. 
and minus 5 should be multiplied by minus 4. If you've drawn that nicely, you will see the shape of the moon or half of the moon, a crescent. Okay, so what is minus 5 times 3x? That gives us a minus 15x. And minus 5 multiplied by minus 4 will give you a plus 20. Right, then are there any like terms in this example? Yes, there are. Minus, minus 8x and minus 15x are like terms. So we, we simplify those like terms to minus 23. And so you get your answer of minus 6x minus 23x. Sorry, 6x squared minus 23x plus 20. Um, you will learn about this thing called FOIL. FOIL means, F there means firsts. In our case, 2x and 3x are actually our first terms for these two expressions. So we call them firsts. So we multiply the firsts by each other. O means outers. 2x and negative 4 are your outers. So 2x, I hope you can see that, 2x and negative 4 are kind of outer when it comes to this expression. So these are outer terms. So we multiply the outer terms by each other. And when you do that, that will give you negative 8x. Then for the inners, uh, negative 5 and 3x are inner. These are inner terms. These are inner terms. I mean, if 2x and negative 4 are outer, then minus 5 and 3x are inner. So we multiply the inners by each other, and that gives us negative 15x. Then negative 5 and negative 4 are the last terms for both the expressions. So negative 5 and minus 4 are the last. You multiply the last, and then you simplify your answer. That, that is called FOI. You can use that. You can use that. All right. Um, Here's another example where we are going to be using FOIL. Uh, we want to expand and to simplify the square of 2y minus 3. Expand means multiply out the brackets. So expanding or expansion is actually the same thing as removing those brackets. Okay, so there should be a proper method of removing the brackets. Uh, first of all, please take note, 2y minus 3 is squared which means 2y minus 3 is multiplied by 2y minus 3. I suggest that you open two sets of brackets so that you don't make a mistake there. So 2y minus 3 is multiplied by 2y minus 3. Open two sets of brackets like that. Then you can use FOIL now. Uh, 2y and 2y are your firsts. These are your firsts. They will give you 4y squared if you multiply them. Then 2y and negative 3 are your outers. You multiply those two, you'll get a negative 6y. Then negative 3 and 2y are your inners. That will give you negative 6y. And then negative 3 and negative 3 are your lasts. And then that will give you a plus 9. So we are foiling there. So these are inner and these are lasts. So that's your foil. Then are there any like terms here? Yes, we do have like terms. Negative 6y and negative 6y are like terms, so those can be simplified. That is why they give us the minus 12y. So your final answer should be 4y squared minus 12y plus 9. That is simplified. Okay, good. Uh, maybe another example for you guys. Uh, this is a more kind of advanced problem. Right, so 3x squared is multiplied by x minus 3, and then we subtract from that the answer that we get after squaring 2x plus 5. That is what the question says. So we are obviously going to use distribution for this first part. I hope you can see that. And uh, we need to be careful here. We need to open those two sets of brackets because 2x plus 5 is squared, which means 2x plus 5 is multiplied by 2x plus 5. Right, so we distribute 3x squared here like this. So 3x squared is multiplied by x, that will give us 3x cubed. And then 3x squared is multiplied by negative 3, and that will give us minus 9x squared. 
So we are distributing them. Then for the second part of the question, we will need to FOIL. Can you see that? We need to FOIL. But because of the negative sign there, we need to make sure that the answer that we get after FOILing is actually put inside the bracket. That's why I'm using these square brackets here to show that the answer, the answer should go in there because there is still a negative sign outside. So we will need to subtract whatever answer we get. Right, so do be careful there, please. When you see a minus sign there, obviously we are going to FOIL, but keep your answers inside the bracket. So let's FOIL. 2x and 2x are the firsts, and that gives us 4x squared. Then 2x and plus 5 are the outers, and that gives us 10x. Then 5 and 2x are the inners, and that gives us 10x. Then 5 and plus 5 are the lasts, and that gives us a 25. All right? So inside that square bracket, I've got 4x squared plus 10x plus 10x plus 25. I obviously need to simplify that. I need to simplify that. So I'm simplifying it here. The only like terms there are 10x and 10x. And 10x plus 10x is equal to 20x. See that? Okay, the rest is just as it is. Then we are going to use distribution. The minus that you see outside there, you can think like this. There is a 1 there. There is a 1 there. So if you want, that is, that is actually a minus 1 out there. So the minus 1 should be distributed into the bracket. And when you do that, a minus 1 and a 4x squared will give you a minus 4x. Minus 1 multiplied by plus 20x will give you negative 20x. Negative 1 and positive 25 will give you negative 25. So we are distributing the negative 1. Okay, then we look for like terms and simplify. The only like terms I see here are these two. The negative 9x squared and negative 4x squared. And when you simplify those two, that should give you negative 13x squared. The rest will just stay as it is. All right. I hope that makes sense, guys. This is your practice questions.